Hello everyone, welcome to Morning Coffee. Thank you so much for tuning in. So this is going to be a general energy reading for your Thursday, April 2nd, 2020. Please keep in mind that time is an illusion and energies are fluid. So just because this is a reading dated for the 2nd of April, that does not mean that it absolutely has to resonate for you at that time. Whenever you are guided to watch this reading and it resonates for you, then that is the message for you in that moment. Also keep in mind that this is a general reading, so this is not going to resonate for everyone, nor is all of it going to resonate necessarily with you. Just take whatever resonates and leave what doesn't. Yeah, um, I hope you guys are having a good week. Week is almost over. Um, we are fresh into April, so woo, yeah. Um, I really don't have anything to say, so. excuse my slurps and let's get into today's reading yeah i'm um i'm wanting to focus more on the tarot than oracle just saying so that's what we're gonna do today all right here we go hi spirit Please make me a clear channel for the collective at this time. Please bring forward the best messages to serve the highest good of all, all for our Thursday, April 2nd, 2020. Thank you so much, Spirit. All right. Um, five shuffles. You know, I'm starting to realize how much I've been deviating from my normal way of doing things here. That was two. This is three. And yeah, this is very much how I used to do morning coffee. It's really interesting. That was three. This is four. Um... <laughs> yeah. Okay, and this is five. All right. So, for the collective today, let's see what we've got. What do you want to discuss with us today, please, Spirit? Judgment with the Ace of Swords. Let's get one more card so far. Just one more, please, Spirit. Oh. The Chariot. The Seven of Pentacles. The King of Swords. I want to keep going. It seems that... It seems... That someone is needing to make a move. Four of cups. Wow. Oh, boy. Oh, shit. Okay. Eight of cups is at the bottom of the deck here. Look, it seems very clear to me. And it could be whomever this is for. It could be very clear to you. I just heard you've been made starkly aware. Um, It is very clear that there is something that someone needs to be leaving behind. There is a wake-up call that's happening here. Judgment. Ace of Swords with the Chariot. Um, the strongest thing that I'm getting... It, it's interesting because the Ace of Swords with the, with the Chariot here can represent an energy of... Um, I mean, technically, it should it should be that someone has the truth, the awareness, the aha moment, the knowledge... The inspiration, the integrity, even it could it could go that far. Um, you could someone could have all of this with the Ace of Swords, the truth, the inspiration, the knowledge, the aha moment, the light bulb, whatnot, whatever that is going to allow you to or someone to move forward confidently, securely in your own lane, balanced, harmonious, connected to yourself, and and. 
moving forward with what your heart desires, moving forward with what drives you, what's passionate for you, what, what, what inspires you. And yet, then we have the Seven of Pentacles with the King of Swords here. And with this, I'm getting a very strong message that someone needs to cut the shit and start doing something differently. And then that's, and then you have the Four of Cups here. In reverse, which to me is only bringing the message home that someone has been rejecting an opportunity, has been missing out on an opportunity, has been procrastinating even, potentially, has been looking for an answer, looking for a reason, looking for has been looking for an answer, looking for a reason, um, has been trying, has been just, okay, also has kind of been wallowing in a sense of self-pity. Interesting. Yeah, oh, okay, well, there you go. <laughs> you have the Five of Cups right underneath this Eight of Cups here. Cut your losses and walk away. Yep, there's the Six of Swords. Now, the Six of Swords is actually what I'm getting with the Six of Swords is that someone could be moving physically, like moving to a new state, a new house, a new town, a new country, something. Someone could be moving here. Yeah, Knight of Wands is underneath that. I want to talk about this Four of Cups energy. Now, it could very well be, you'll have to excuse me, you guys, I'm in a little bit of a, um, I don't know if you could tell by the tone of my voice, but I'm in a little bit of a, a lower mood, <laughs> a lower vibrational energy today. Um, so if I, if, if what I'm saying comes across as really harsh or something like that, I apologize. I'm not trying to be an asshole. I'm just living my life. Um, so... <laughs> It could very well be, now this could very well be that someone is actually in the process of doing it, of getting up and getting started and getting moving and not, not, I, and that's why I want to talk about this Four of Cups because I'm not exactly sure as to what this is. This could be, this could be one of two things, two, two main things that I'm feeling here. The first thing that I'm feeling is that someone has been missing out on, on an opportunity or has been like, consciously rejecting an opportunity to make some sort of change in their life. It may be because you haven't been able to see this clearly. You haven't been able to understand what it is it, it, it truly means for you to take up this cup that's being handed to you from the clouds, from the heavens, from the universe. Also, some of you just played up straight up don't want this change but it's your ego saying that now for the others of you there is something that has been missed here there, there there has been an opportunity this could be love this could be romance this could be career this this could be a family situation in which maybe you have been trying to reconcile or someone else may have been trying to reconcile with you and the opportunity just keeps getting missed because, I don't know, maybe it just doesn't align or someone is purposefully putting the kibosh on it, maybe. And it, I mean, this could be anything, right? I want to look, I want to look more. Why is this Four of Cups here, please? What is this Four of Cups player? What is this Four of Cups in reverse? Nine of Swords, fear. Okay, well, yeah, uh, this could very well be. Ha this could be a situation where someone hasn't wanted to let go. Someone hasn't wanted to move on. Someone was. Someone hasn't wanted to take up this opportunity towards healing because of the because of fear, anxiety, frustration. I'm hearing pain. You have the Ace of Wands with that. That is so weird. With the Ten of Pentacles. Why the hell? That doesn't make any sense. Are you caught between a rock and a hard place? 
Are you wanting to move forward, but of afraid, but being, but you're afraid of what that would entail? These energies, these this Ace of Wands and this Nine of Swords couldn't be any more opposing of each other because the Ace of Wands is inspiration, is action, is drive, is passion. The Nine of Swords is anxiety, fear, frustration. This could very well be a situ this okay, so someone here could be in this this four of cups energy. You may have been sitting wallowing in this four of cups energy, all the while knowing that you've needed to make some sort of change. You've needed to move forward with, with some sort of inspiration, some sort of action, and yet you're afraid to do it. Something about something about moving forward here is causing fear and anxiety the, pro the 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 thing about it is the, the the past cycle is complete 10 of pentacles i mean you've done everything you've needed to do here you've completed this course you've completed this, these prerequisites 11 11 and now it's time to move on it's time to move forward whatever this is in your life whatever this phase is in your life it is time for you to move forward because it's over underneath the ten look you have the page of pentacles underneath the ten of pentacles and many of you have been following me for quite a while so you've heard me say this the page of pentacles to me is a level up you've reached a new level and now the, the, the circumstances have changed sure it might feel like you're starting over but you're really just starting at a new level my priestess is on that. Okay, so what are we afraid of? What's this Nine of Swords then? What's this Nine of Justice? Oof. Wait, Justice and. No, that's it. Just Justice. Interesting. Oh my god. <laughs> okay. I don't know if you guys saw that, but I'm going to explain to you what I felt before I looked at the bottom of the deck. Oh, so we have the Nine of Swords here. Okay, someone is inspired towards moving in a new direction. Leaving the past behind with the Eight of Cups that was at the bottom of the deck in the beginning of the reading, okay? And yet, someone is afraid to move forward, or there's anxiety, there's fear, there's... Anxiety. We'll just say there's anxiety moving forward because moving forward is going to bring justice into your life or into, yeah, it's going to bring a greater form of justice into your life, a greater sort of for, for, uh, form of balance, harmony, could even say union if you want. Okay. But what I was getting with this justice, I was like, why are we feeling justice? And I felt into it a little bit more and I was like, oh, there's a level of compassion here. Someone is kind of scared or bummed out, sad, or is allowing themselves to carry some sort of burden because the justice in you or the other person, the justice that is going to be brought by somebody moving forward is going to bring a bit of destruction to the life of someone else or others. But see, the justice is falling in your, whomever is walking away, whomever is being called, judgment has the wisdom, has the understanding, has the knowledge, knows it's time to move forward, move on with their own path, with their own life, the way they see fit, with the knowledge of who they are under their belt, right? With the knowledge of who you or they are under their belt. Because look, seven of pentacles here, all right? It's time for a harvest. It's either time to harvest or it's time to scrap the crop and start all over. It's this is the this is I like to say this is my shit or get off the pot card. Sometimes. At least that's what it feels like right now. King of Swords. Objective thinking. The diplomat. At least in this situation. Seeing something clearly, knowing when it is time to strike. Mm, okay. Knowing when it is time to call it it's time to call it okay we've heard we've had we've heard enough evidence 
we've heard enough evidence or we've heard and we've seen enough evidence and we've heard enough witness testimony it's time to make the call or in this situation it's time to make the cut and yet someone's been resisting i don't want to do that well, why don't you want to do that because it's going to harm some other people you know what i just heard when i when i said that their justice is their own you can't do anything about that. And so I say all that to say, look at what's underneath the deck. The Queen of Cups. One of the most sentimental individuals in the deck of all. Caring, compassionate, empathic, understanding, unconditionally loving. But she can be, she, she, she of all the queens in the deck the Queen of Cups is the easiest to manipulate. And that's, <clears throat> that's not, a, that's not a, I mean, potentially, I'll say potentially she's the easiest to manipulate because if she, it, because the Queen of Cups in reverse is like the epitome of lack of boundaries, emotional boundaries, physical boundaries, mental boundaries, psychic boundaries. So if her walls are compromised, she is very easy to manipulate. But what I'm getting in this situation here, this circumstance, is that, look, you, you cannot save someone from their own justice. From the justice... Jeez. Mm, wow. Ooh, wow. You cannot save someone from the justice they've wrought in their own lives. Period. Whether it's your mother, your father, your sister, your brother, your aunt, your uncle, your grandma, your grandpa, your niece, your nephew, your grandchild, your husband, your wife your long-term boyfriend or girlfriend, your motherfucking twin flame. You cannot save anyone from the justice they have brought into their own lives upon their own selves. So it is time for you to let go of this. And move on. Judgment. Ace of Wands, Ace of Swords, King of Swords, the Chariot. It's time to move on. Period. I just heard you cannot see this through for them. It was never your... It was never meant to be your role to see anything through for them. They need to see it through for themselves. I don't know who this is for. I don't know what this is talking about. But honey, cut your losses and move on. Let's go a little bit deeper here. What else do you have for this spirit? Yeah, look at that. The Wheel of Fortune. With the Knight of Cups. Okay, well, um, for those of you that are resonate, resonating with this on a relationship level, I'm hearing this is a twin flame level for some people. You have a new relationship coming in. Wheel of Fortune and the Knight of Cups, you've got someone else coming in here. But you see, you have to clear out the space because right now you're living or you're acting from a place of lack mentality. And especially if you are resi resisting or rejecting moving forward, cleansing your energy or space or leaving someone behind, you are in fact coming at this or approaching this situation from a lack mentality. And I'll explain why. You have one of two options that I can see very clearly. One is you don't feel good enough about yourself to, to accept the fact that you actually could have another suitor out there who is way better, way better of an option for you than whatever tomfoolery you're dealing with now. That's one. Two could be you are limiting this other person by thinking they can't deal with whatever it is just whatever justice they've brought into their lives upon their own selves, you are basically telling them or believing that they are incapable of dealing with it themselves. They are lacking some sort of ability to handle their own shit. And thus you feel like you have to stay around and save them from themselves. Girl, bye. 
Mm -mm. Because the more you do that, the more you get wrapped up in their karma, and then you get pulled down with them. Look, I'll be damned if I'm going down on someone else's ship when I had nothing to do with it. I don't know about y'all, but no thanks. Holy moly, kids. All right, they're saying one more shuffle. Okay, so let's talk about this Wheel of Fortune. All right, let's talk about the Wheel of Fortune here, please. Oh, well, look, there's the Queen of Cups again. See, what I'm already getting from this, you guys... Yeah, Five of Cups, Two of Cups. What I'm getting with the Queen of Cups that's come out here for this Wheel of Fortune energy... Your compassion, unconditionally loving energy is going to provide you with exactly what you need. But there, but someone is staying in a relationship, staying in a circumstance because of lack of mentality, because they feel like they're not good enough or the other person is not strong enough. And okay, so you could sit here and say to me, but Eric, I know they're not strong enough. Well, honey, how do you think they're going to get strong enough with you pulling up for them? With you standing around pulling up their, their their pants for them. Doing the heavy lifting for them. How the hell are they going to get strong enough? I mean, I mean, I'm not trying to be a bitch. I'm not trying to be an asshole. Like, but let's think, like, like, like really. Fine. Let's put it this way. Weight training. You can't go in with your little cousin that's needing to, you know, bulk up a little bit. I don't know, because he wants to join the football team. Okay, great. But how do you think he's going to get those biceps and triceps and glutes if you're doing all the weightlifting for him? Like literally just standing there, barely lifting while you're spotting, doing most of the, oh, it's okay. Well, let me just help you with this one. No, bitch. Pick those fucking weights up and lift. Death. With the Ten of Wands in reverse. You see? I hadn't even turned those cards over yet. Ooh, the sass is flowing today, y'all. I am so sorry. <laughs> and then here goes Spirit. Eric, don't apologize for yourself. Okay. You're right. You right. Really, though. How do you expect anyone to gain any sort of strength or experience if you're doing all the lifting for them? Death with the Ten of Wands in reverse. Cut that shit out now. Because it's not serving you. And it damn sure isn't serving them. I understand you feel. I feel too. One of the hardest lessons I had to learn was that other people need to learn to feel their own shit. I can't feel it for them. I can't process it for them. Sure, I can help, but it is not my job to clean up your mess. Queen of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. Y'all. She ain't lifting nobody else's weight for them when they are perfectly capable of lifting that shit themselves. Focus, please. There we go. She ain't doing that. You've got a broken leg? Okay, you get a pass. I understand. You have a broken leg. Doesn't mean that you are completely incapable of pulling some weight, but I'll give you a pass here. You've got two fully functional legs, a strong back, and two arms? Bitch, pick that shit up yourself. Let's get your closing. This is a pretty short one, you guys. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> this is a pretty short one. Um, I'm trying to see... Because I, I guess I'm moving forward. Moving on to the Oracle section. And I... Spirit is saying close out the reading. Alright. Alright. Okay. Okay. 
So I want to close out the reading with... Um, I'm going to get Oracle Guidance from the Sacred Geometry Activations deck today. It feels appropriate. So that's what we're going to do. You know, it's interesting. I've noticed how um, the, the the mood or the energy, the, the, my demeanor changes when I use tarot cards versus when, when I use oracle cards. When I use oracle cards, it's much more loving, flowing, and, and, and um, well, it's always loving, but it's much more much more pleasant, I guess we could say. <laughs> With the tarot, it becomes really cutthroat and, and uh, sassy. It is what it is, y'all. All right, I'm going to give this one more shuffle, and then we'll see what your closing messages are for today. bottom of the deck you have magic card number 31 the frequency of magic supports our intrinsic ability to grow and expand beyond this moment to move towards possibilities and expressions that are as grand and profound as we can imagine all that is required is our belief in their manifestation beautiful we have card number 40 soul time the frequency of soul time asks us to allow the possibilities of a new reality to emerge, one that embraces the concept that, while the corporeal body is mortal, the soul is timeless, limitless, and infinite. Mm -hmm. And then finally, last card, we have card number 42, Tantric Journey. The frequency of Tantric Journey helps us to unlock the hidden knowledge and wisdom that we intrinsically hold about how to reach a state of wholeness and completion through our sensual experiences with ourselves and with another. Oh, that's cool. That's cute. I'm going to leave it there, guys. Nothing else is really coming through. Um, but... There you have it. This is a short one. Oh my gosh, we're only 27 minutes in. But anyway, I hope that was helpful for you. I love you guys so very much. And I hope you have a good day. And I look forward to connecting with you again for our next cup of coffee for tomorrow morning. Yeah? For our weekend edition. Wow. All right. Well, take care. <laughs> Bye.